Yo guys, um, I know I've been away for a while and all that jazz and I haven't done very many car stuff at the minute but I am keeping up with the car stuff I've... Hey guys, so I'm just watching this video and it took me ages to introduce this video I've done a few things on the car and I'm sorry that I've been away for a while but in this video we're going to be changing the rear axle bushings so that's pretty much all you need to know and let's get on with it This is the state of the car at the minute We've got the right hand side like the axle mount that sits in the top of the car your axle actually sits into there and is held by this pin that goes straight through this bushing and then this bushing is held up into that space just up there so at the moment the actual rear axle is being held up by the jack some wood and the shocks and springs basically so we're just working on the other side after we've done this you can see in here my actual bushings like I went to go get my car aligned and Halfords did a uh, a service check for me just while I was there and they said that my rear bushings were split and worn and they were saying that's probably the cause of the knocking so we've got some more bushes on the way I bought a bush removal tool which I've heard they're a pain but we'll see and we've just kind of got to give it a go so we're working on the other side now that's lowered down we just need to take these pivot pins out and off we go now we've got both sides off uh, we've put these little paint pen notches where so like you can see like this little tab goes along with that and this little tab goes there just so we know which ways to put it all back in when we put in new ones so the way the press works is it sits in here and pushes the whole rubber and everything through so as you can see this one's so worn I can just put my thumb on that you know send it out the other side so if you want to just make sure that's level uh, the whole tool sits over that as you push it just forces it all through the opposite side so it'll all come through this side because obviously this tab here is not going to get pulled through while all this can just slide out that way so Charlotte's dad has just helped us drill inside here to get the bushings out so now all we need to do is clean it up so this is the old bushing that we've just taken out as you can see we've damaged it quite a bit and these holes on the side this is where the drill went through and yeah you can see we've torn it all up so yeah, now I'm just cleaning up inside to make sure there's no rust or debris that's going to stop the bushing from going in smoothly. We've got these new bushings in. These are really tight. All these bolts that hold it in up here, super tight as well. And yeah, so. I think that's a job well done. I, the uh, jack's actually out now, so the car's holding its own weight. And yeah, uh, all we need to do now is give it a test run, and drop down the jacks, put some wheels on it, and then give it a test run. Oh boy, am I terrible at YouTube. I forgot to film this outro. We went on that test drive. There was still a little bit of clunking, but we're not sure where it's coming from. We think it's in one of the rear brakes. But the big loud clunking that when you press the brakes and it goes kudunk, uh, that was gone. So we solved a problem and we made the car a lot safer. But on another note, we've taken the side trims off and sprayed them. If you want to see how we do this, just let me know down in the comments down below or personal message me. I was really curious on how to do these, so if you want to know, just ask me.